Thumbs up for Todd. I forgot about the jumper near the voltage reference. Now it seems much better. Blah blah blah, calibration required. And no more convergence error. And let's do a self test. I couldn't get to this point before. The low range for the current doesn't work. Ninety-five and ninety-five is. Let me check. DCI gain ten microamps. I have right now connected the amps input to Keith resource meter to provide one milliamp so I can show you what's going on here if I switch to DCI so the low range like nanoamp range, microamp doesn't work and then milliamp range it's working of course it's out of the calibration so but that's not a problem. I can show you again. Set 100 microamp. Let me get camera straight. That's our 100 microamp. And it's reading correctly here. But if I go lower range, then I get just zero. So that's why I self tail self test fails. And I have no front on a board. It's right here. Not connected to anything. It's because I am using just direct connection. Let me show you. Oh. Sorry about that. Yep. It's the yellow trace for the positive current and black trace for the negative. So we have to test the microamp. Let's see if it can do anything different on Auto cal, at least for the DCV voltage. Um, I'll disconnect the probe. So now it's in high impedance mode, reading some charge, just I expected, and auto cal voltage and there some relays clicking okay 10 volts in past 1 volt One volt pass, zero point one. Uh, 
I see some hope in there. Takes a little. Come on, come on. You can do it. Okay, zero volt. I was never was able to get to this point before because obviously the reference voltage wasn't supplied to the meter. If that's jumper doing what I think it's doing. Okay. Now let's connect one volt from Kifli and check if we can get better reading. Okay, I connected the input. And output on. Oh. Still a little bit off. Actually a lot of bit. Let's try 10 volts. Yeah. Well, it's too early for any kind of calibration yet. You can check that the voltage is actually much more close to 10 volts by using my calibrator 2001 so I'll disconnect these two wires and connect these two wires and connect those two wires I'll show you, here they are no cheating here. I'll connect to my case. Output on. Well, ten zero 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 sixty. They agree together real close because well they calibrated just to each other. No surprise whatsoever. Okay, that's it for now.